What's up guys, Antonalog here, and today I have a review of the Paraboard 512B from Parix. This is an ergonomic rubber dome keyboard that's meant for people who type for a very long time. Now before I start this review, I want to make sure that you guys are aware this keyboard is not for the average gamer or typing enthusiast, but for a person who types a lot and wants an ergonomic keyboard. With that said, let's get right into the review. Starting with a tour of the device, on the back of the keyboard are seven multimedia keys that include search, website, volume up and down, sleep, and mute. There's also a pretty thick and rugged USB cable, and it felt very durable. However, a braided cable would have been a nice inclusion, but not that big of a deal if you ask me for only $35 for this keyboard. On the face of the keyboard, there is a full-size 104 key layout. However, the left and the right half of the keyboard are split in an attempt to be more ergonomic. There are also some good and bad changes to the key layout that I'll talk about later. Next to the bottom, there are only three rubber feet on the back part of the keyboard. On the bottom are also two kickstands to help you type at an angle if you so desire, and I would have liked to see some more rubber pads probably at the top of the keyboard and also the kickstands. Finally, on the front of the keyboard is a really, really big wrist rest that is contoured and tilted, making the keyboard very comfortable to type on. The entire keyboard is made from plastic that's pretty sturdy, but also doesn't feel too premium. So how is this keyboard different from the rest of the non-ergonomic keyboards? The most noticeable difference is in the layout in that the keyboard is split into two sections. Any key from the G on the home row to the left is now separate from all the keys from the H on the home row to the right. Another design difference is that the keys between the number pad and the letter keys are not two rows by three columns, but rather three columns by two rows. This makes the keys more cramped, but since I didn't use that part of the keyboard a lot, it didn't really affect me. So splitting your keyboard makes your arms spread out wider and not be cramped and flare out your elbows. This is supposed to be more ergonomic for people who type at their desks a lot. However, I found that there was no difference in what I felt from everyday typing, but your mileage may vary. An effect of the splitting is also that the entire keyboard is a lot wider than a normal keyboard, which makes your mouse need to be more off to the side. However, this is also a less ergonomic trait. If Parix really wanted to hit the sweet spot in their next revision, they could make this keyboard a 10 keyless one, which removes the numpad. Or they could have another model that is 10 keyless. One thing that I did not like was that the arrow keys were in a weird diamond pattern, and they were really hard to type on. It squishes your fingers, and honestly, I have no idea why this design was implemented. The media keys are also a nice inclusion, allowing you to access functions really quickly. Underneath the media keys are three LED lights that indicate if the caps lock, num lock, and scroll lock buttons are being pressed. This keyboard uses membrane switches, which I personally think aren't as great as mechanical switches, but some people may like them. They are on the more tactile side of membrane switches, which is a good thing, and they don't make too much noise, which is probably good in an office environment. Here are what they sound like. The keys need to be bottomed out to input into the computer, and the switches of the keyboard are not as good as mechanical switches, but for one third of the price of many other mechanical keyboards, this is a pretty good switch. In conclusion, this keyboard is easy to type on, ergonomic, and has a very comfortable wrist rest. However, the layout of the arrow keys aren't the best, and the keyboard doesn't feel that premium. But for $35, I think it's a great keyboard. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe for more weekly tech videos like this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.